need to get out and stretch the legs. Get down and cover now! Defend my guard! Damn, these guys were holding out on me. Saw an old church, found it interesting, not sure why. Me neither. The hell was that? Ah, oh, it's a sharpshooter. Shooting man, I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Oh. Why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. Maybe you were just outgunned. I ain't happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. Huh. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. Good shot, mister. Here you go. As promised. Alright. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Nice shooting. Guess I just had the edge in the end. Yeah, right. Enjoy your win while it lasts. Hey, mister. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Sure. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. 
And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Thanks. Ah, oh, this lady. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. All right. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. All right, where the hell is this butcher? Hey, friend. Come here a minute. Trust me. You want to hear this. All right. You interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now it's too open here, but um, follow me and we'll chat. Okay, could be interesting. You're right about it. All right, so here's what. I have. Oh fuck! How do you find these damn idiots? You can just tell with some folks. Come on, let's see what he has and dump him somewhere. Ah oh, shit. Knock me out fucking cold. Hundred and forty motherfucker. What time is it? I mean, I knew it was going to be a setup, but I thought I'd be able to fucking fend for myself. It took a massive chunk out of my f fucking. Hello, Mister. Je vous salue. Pull up a chair. All right, you already oh, fucking know. Come on, king, 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 king. Yes. I think I'm gonna go all in. <clears throat> Pussy ass bitch. Mm -hmm. That's as it should be. Come here. Is that woman's tit glitching through her shirt? I think it is. Yikes. Would you look at that? This is you annoying. can't well, fucking be serious. I'll take it. I don't know. Those Lemoin fellows forever had their heads in the past. I'll never fucking trust a computer to do fucking generating bets and shit. Uh, no. Yep. Oh, I'll raise that. I'm gonna see you. That's it. What do you think of this? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I almost got up and shot the entire fucking table up. Pairs of queens and sixes. Well, that's just fine. Well, I hate to tell you, pal, but uh. Oh, for the love of God, no! Come to me. Oh man, that feels good. Feels good. Pair of sixes, pair of aces. This is everything. 
All right, yes, motherfucker. Oh my! Is this good? Wow! <laughs> Don't tell me I just bust you out. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Yes, come on. I don't know what you were thinking, pal. They're on short by the same dry. Damn it. God damn right you are. Until next we play. No way. Ah damn. Oh, I'll take that. Push hair son does not have his father's eyes. Let's just say I wish I lived in simpler times. <sighs> I reckon all in. This isn't going to be it. Fuck. Oh, somebody's trying to tell me something. You better win this. <laughs> oh, no way! Is going ahead to let his store you close. got it! What? Bullshit! Yes. Yes! According to plan! Yes, indeed. Ah. Call me a sore loser, I don't give a fuck. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Man, he is fucked. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's well, go. I am the deputy, so. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. 
This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Huh. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Imagine having to be that guy. Oh, come on, get on the fucking wagon. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. All right. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Go right at the crossroads. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. They're right again here. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we 
are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, <laughs> let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill... Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. Gotcha. That's it. Well, what do we do now? <sighs> Better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... Uh, I got it. Um... Really? Give me a hand with these bastards! 
the fuck is all that exploding going on? Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of Come on, move. We have a life on the right. land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we, are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Huh. <sighs> okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go! Alright. Just let him get a little heads up and, uh... Let's finish this race, Sable. What do you say? It's not even fair with this fucking horse. We'll see about that. I remember my first playthrough I had uh, just a horse that I bought. <laughs> and the horse ran out of stamina like three fourths of the way there.
No, no. Ho ho. I don't know how the hell that worked out. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Horsford. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. <laughs> Adorable. Hmm. Tilly? Is that Tilly? Uh, what? Do you know how fucking how boring this goddamn uh, game is? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? I don't. Sure, why not? If God. I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. I wish I could leave this fucking I game alone. Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can sell another easy enough. Another necklace. I'll keep my eye out for you too. Where the fuck did my gloves go? Uh, I don't care. Sorry, ain't worth much. Uh, no. I'm done. Stupid fucking game. Okay. Alright, that's it for this one. I'm fucking done. Thanks for watching.